What's up guys? I had, um, I did a poll yesterday on Instagram and I was asking people, um, have they ever been to therapy? And normally when I do polls, like people answer, but like it was an overwhelming response of like people actually saying, yes, I've been to therapy. And on the opposite end, it was like, no, I've never been to therapy. And um, I did a second slide and I was like, um, if you've never been to therapy, would you go? And everybody that answered no, they said, sure. And so it just something clicked like, man, I need to share my experience of how therapy went because as black people, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the movies a lot in the 90s and the early 2000s, taking over the 90s, 2000s. Now, everybody was talking about if you go to therapy, you crazy. And when you come to think about it, so what if you crazy go to therapy and on the opposite end of it that's bs because everybody needs somebody to talk to everybody has a form of therapy sometimes my therapy is praying sometimes my therapy is texting one of my best friends sometimes my therapy is talking to my mother-in-law sometimes my therapy is painting sometimes my therapy is going to the gym and just getting on the treadmill real quick but i feel like we have to take that stigma off and I feel like it's been it's been doing pretty good. Like people are really going to therapy. And so I had asked a friend of mine, like, hey, I'm interested in, you know, going to your therapist. And she was like, Oh, she's just coming off maternity leave. She's not taking anybody, but you can go on this website. So I went to the website and I was just searching, like I knew that I wanted somebody that was Christian based and um that had kind of like the same beliefs as me. So they could come be on the same page as far as where I'm coming from. And so I found somebody, I found this lady, I scheduled, got it done through my insurance and everything. And when I say this session was nothing that I expected because watching movies, you see the white people, they're on the couch and they're just pouring out their heart and the person is just writing notes. Like when I tell you that was like nothing like my experience, like it was just an open, it was an open floor for me to just like talk to her and just, she was basically like, so tell me what's going on. And it was awkward for me because it was like, I'm on the opposite end of it. Normally I'm the one kind of just listening to people and helping, but when she was doing it, it was just like, she was just really listening and not saying anything. And then every so often she would chime in. And so um, she was just really, she really helped me when I was telling her about the things that I was going through. Um, I was really dealing with anxiety. I was dealing, I didn't know that I had a control like issue, not like controlling people, but controlling situations and things that are out of my control. Like I like to plan ahead for things. And the Bible does say, don't worry, does say, don't worry about uh, tomorrow for what tomorrow going to bring. Cause the birds don't worry about what they going to eat and they get fed regardless. So I'm paraphrasing, but um, as far as like planning, it's cool to plan, but I was trying to think so far out and it was out of my control. It was these situations. It, I was being unrealistic. I was being realistic, but I was being unrealistic. And so I remember I had a wedding coming up. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to take our car to Beaumont. I didn't know if I was going to be able to rent. On top of that, I ended up losing my wallet. I lost my credit cards, my debit card, my ID. On top of that, um, I tried to, I couldn't use my, uh, my paper ID that they sent in because they needed a physical copy. Then they said they need a physical copy of my cards and it didn't matter if I had Apple Pay. Like it was so much going on. That's just a, a small list of what I'm telling you guys. And she was like, you know, you really stressing out over nothing. Whatever happens, happens. If you just got to take your car to Beaumont, take your car to Beaumont. You know, yo, yo, I was worrying about where we was going to move to. She was like, y'all not getting evicted. Y'all got money to pay for rent. You know, rent is taken care of. Like it was every time I had like a problem, she came back with a solution. So I feel like me sharing my experience with therapy, about therapy, I hope it helps somebody says, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try therapy out. Because in all actuality, like everybody needs somebody to talk to. That's all therapy is. And really don't don't go into therapy thinking, oh, they gonna fix me as soon as I go. For me, it worked out like that. Like I was fixed the first the first uh, session and we talked about some personal things at the end. She fixed that. So on my second session, it was a little more awkward for me because 
I didn't really have that many problems going on by the time the next week came, but the next, maybe the next two weeks came because she had like, pre everything was pretty much solving itself. Whatever happens, happens. And everything happened that was gonna happen the way that it was going to happen, if that makes sense. So, um, uh, the next week came and we was talking and it was just really awkward silences at, at moments. But for the most part, I liked how when I was expressing myself, she would come back with a situation that she dealt with or she's dealing with or something from her life that could resonate with my life. And it just it just made so much sense. But that's pretty much the gist of this video. I want you guys to go into the mindset of. I'm not necessarily going to be fixed from therapy, but this is a step for me to take. All the other things that I'm doing isn't working. So at least I can do is talk to a professional who's certified in, you know, helping people instead of throwing all my burdens and problems on, on other people. Cause you really have to think like people got their own problems going on, whether they smiling or not. Like people got their own BS going on behind the scenes. So um it's good to go ahead and seek out help it's different if you got insurance you probably just gotta pay a copay if you don't have insurance it's ways around it like I, i've seen different ads where you can pay like six dollars for a session but that's the gist of it that's my experience with therapy i give it a 10 out of 10 i would definitely go back um I, I definitely, I definitely will go back. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my experience of therapy. Um, that's it. Stay tuned for the next video. When is it going to drop? I have no clue. You just got to stay tuned.